Hi everyone. So first of all, we're going to start our maths off by reading some numbers and some number words that I'm going to flash up on the screen. So please join in with me. Let's get started. Seven, three, four, two, one, nine, ten, eight, six, five, nine, zero, one. Fantastic. Well done. So we've also looked at this week ordering numbers. Okay, and we're getting quite good at this now. So I thought it'd give us a bit more of a challenge and see which number is missing in my number sequences when I put my numbers in order. So let's have a look at the top numbers that I have got here and can we say them together? So I've got zero, one, two, three, and five. So one number is missing in that number sequence. Have a little look. And which number is it? Let's check and we can work it out by starting at the first digit here we've got. So that's zero. One more than zero is one. Is that correct? Have a think. Yep, yeah, so that one is correct. Let's look here. So one more than one is two. So that number there is correct. So have a think now which number comes after two. We've said that one comes before two, so that's correct. Yep, it should be three. So let's have a look. We've said three comes after two. What comes after three? Is it five? No, it's not, is it? Well done. It's the number four. So in here, we should have the number four. So well done if you spotted that one. Let's have a look at these numbers below. So this time, the number that I'm starting with, my smallest number, is three. So let's read the numbers in the order first. So three, four, five, six, and then eight. So have a think, which number is missing? Okay, so looking here, let's check. So we've said three is the smallest number, so that goes first. So which number comes after three? And that number is four. So that one is correct. So one more than four is five. So that one is correct. One more than five is six. And then which number comes after six when I'm ordering my numbers? Which number comes after six? Is it eight or am I missing one here? So you should have noticed that the number seven is missing because seven comes after six and before eight. So well done if you got that correct. So moving on, I've got um, some little jobs for you to do here. So I've got four number sequences. OK, they all have different starting points. And I want you to put them in order from smallest to largest, which I've done for you here first. But some numbers are missing. So have a read through of them and see which numbers are missing. And can you pop them in for me, please? And then we'll check them in a second. So I'll just give you a few minutes to have a go at doing that. Great. So if you need to pause the video, so just pause it here if you need to keep on going with the work, because now I'm going to go through our answers. So press pause if you just need a bit more time to have a go at working those out. So next, here are our answers. So the first one, the number that was missing was the number four. In the second sequence, the number that was missing was the number eight. In the third sequence, the number was six that was missing. And in the last one, the number five was missing for our number sequences. So hopefully you got all of those right. Well done if you did. So let's move on to today's learning. So today's concept that we're going to learn is to be using and writing addition number sentences. And we started looking a little bit at this yesterday. And hopefully you'll have all found some objects that you could have used. OK, so we're basically going to have a look today at this word here, which means addition. And addition is where we're finding the whole of two or more groups that have been put together. OK, so we're focusing today on two groups that are being put together. And we've also been using the word plus. So here, look, I've got my red counters 
and my yellow counters. So first, there are one, two red counters. Can you say that with me? So first, there are two red counters plus this many more. So let's see how many yellow circles we've got. One, two, three. So you can say plus three yellow. So if I said that again, I'd say first there are two reds plus three yellow. Can you say that with me? So first there are two reds plus three yellow. And this is equal to Let's pop those together and let's work that out. So one, two, three, four, five. So this is equal to five. So I'll say that again. So first there are two red plus three yellow and this is equal to five. Okay, can you say that with me? So first there are two red plus three yellow and this is equal to five. So let's have a go at doing this with a different amount. So now I've got some different amounts of counters. So I've still got my red counters and still got my yellow counters on the screen that you can see. So first there are how many red, let's count them. One, two, and three. So we can say first there are three red. Can you say that with me? First there are three red. Plus how many more yellow counters? Let's check them. One two, three. So we can say plus three more yellow counters. So watch me, I'm going to say first there are three red counters plus three yellow counters. Can you say that? So first there are three red counters plus three yellow counters. And now I can work out what this is equal to if I pop them together. So together this is equal to three, four, five, six. Okay, so this is equal to six. So I can say, first there are three red counters plus three yellow counters, and this is equal to six. All right. Now I've got this underneath this statement, and I want you to join in with me and see if you can work it out. Right, I'm going to use this to write our addition number sentences to get today. So we need to make sure we're getting this correctly. So first, let's have a look at how many red counters we've got. So there are two red counters. So first, there are two red plus how many yellow counters? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. So we can say first, there are two red plus four yellow counters and let me work out what that is equal to so i'm going to put those together and that is equal to two three four five six well done if you're helping me at home there counting along so now we can read this number sentence and it says two red plus four yellow equals six can you say it with me so two red plus four yellow equals six well done, let's keep going. So now I've got two more. Let's have a go at doing this top one first. So just like we did before, let's check how many red there are first. So there are one, two, three red. So I'm going to pop that here. So three red plus how many yellow? Well done, three yellow. And that equals two, how many? So let's count them. So we've got three, four, five, six. So this is equal to six. So I can say that whole sentence now, that three red plus three yellow is equal to six. Can you say that? Three red plus three yellow equals six. Well done. Let's have a look at the one underneath. Just spend a couple of seconds having to think, how many red have I got? plus how many yellow have I got? Have a think. Well done. So you should have said that there are two red plus four yellow. Let's put those together and work out what that amount equals when they are together. So you've got two, three, four, five, six. So six is my 
whole amount. So now if I read that statement, I can say two red plus four yellow equals six. Can you read it with me? Two red plus four yellow equals six. Well done. Now it's your turn to show me your super learning. So I've got one, two, three, four addition representations. And I want you to have a little go at writing down and filling out what these numbers should be. Okay, so write these statements that match the representation that I'm showing. I'm gonna give you a few minutes to do it and then I will share the answers. Okay, if you need to pause me here, just press pause on the video um, because I'm gonna go through the answers now. So you don't want to see those if you've not finished yet. So I'm gonna quickly go through the answers and tick them off if you've got them correct. So the first one here, we've got two red plus three yellow, and that is equal to five. So well done if you got that one. Here we've got three red plus three yellow, and that is equal to six. Here we've got three red plus five yellow this time, so that's a tricky one. And that is equal to eight. The last one, we've got three red plus five yellow, and that one's equal to eight as well. Well done. So now I've got a slight variation. And here I've jumbled up my counters, okay? So I've just scrambled them up a bit so that they're all over the place. And we need to pick out the different parts that we're putting together to make that whole amount. So we're gonna do exactly the same. And we just need to identify our different parts first. So let's look at the red part first. So how many red are there? Can you count them with me? One, two, three. So we can say that first there are three red, plus how many yellow? Two, well done. And how many is that all together? So there's three red plus two yellow, and what is that equal to? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. So we could say, if we were reading this at the bottom, that three red plus two yellow equals five. Can you say it with me? Three red plus two yellow equals five. Well done. I've got another one now. I'm just checking you've got it. So let's, you can have a go at doing this at home. Identify how many red counters have we got? How many red have we got? So well done if you said four. So we should have four red. Plus how many yellow counters have we got? Three, well done if you said that. We've got four red plus three yellow. So what does this equal? What's the whole amount I have got? Well done if you said seven. So four red plus three yellow equals seven. Can you say that with me? Four red plus three yellow equals seven. Well done if you got that correct. So now I've got a couple more, just like this variation, where the counters are higgledy-piggledy. I want you to have a go at completing these statements underneath for me. Okay, so how many red plus how many yellow equals how many? Have a little go. So yet again, I'm gonna go through the answers. So just pause me if you need a bit more time. I'm just gonna share with you the answers now so you can check to see whether you've got them correct. So the first one we've got five red plus two yellow and this is equal to seven. And then the second question we've got three red plus two yellow and this is equal to five. So well done if you got those correct. Now we're going to be looking at introducing on symbols. Okay, so we are writing addition number sentences. So this symbol here that I'm going to highlight with my highlighter, this means plus, okay, or add, or more than, 
And we're going to be using this symbol now to complete these number sentences. We've also got another symbol, which is just here. And this symbol here is equals, right? The one that we've just been talking through. So I'm gonna show you how this representation with the counters transfers into our number sentences. So let's have a look. So first we need to look at how many red parts we've got. So we've got two red parts. Okay, so first on my number sentence, I'm gonna write that we've got two red parts. Plus how many yellow parts? One, two. So I've found that I've got two yellow parts. So here on my number sentence, I've got my plus sign. And I've said that I've plused two yellow parts. And this is equal to how many all together? Can you count them? Well done, you should have said four there. Okay, so this is equal to four. So if we look at this first, we can say that two red plus two yellow equals four. And if we change it into a number sentence, we can say that two red plus two yellow equals four, okay? If I wanted to have a go at writing this, I'd be writing two red, this is how I do my addition sign, plus two yellow, this is how I do my equal sign, equals four. Okay, I want you to have a little go at practicing these at home today. So now I've got another representation that we're going to transform into a number sentence. So how many red have I got here first this time? Well done, so I've got three red. So I can say three red plus how many yellow? Yeah, plus one yellow. And what is that equal to? So the whole amount there is four. I'm going to pop four here because that is what it's equal to. So I can say that three red plus one yellow equals four. If I look here, I can say three red plus one yellow equals four. Well done if you got that correct. So now again, I have got some representations and I want you to have a go now at writing the number sentences underneath. Okay, so remember, the first part is the red part, plus how many yellow, and what is that equal to? So what's the whole amount? So first, there are this many red, plus this many yellow, and this is equal to the whole amount. So have a little go there, and then I'm going to go through them with you. So pause the video if you need a bit more time, and if not, I'm going to go through the answers with you now. Okay, so just pause it if you haven't finished. But I'm going to write these number sentences so you can check at home whether you've got them right. So this one should be, first there are five red plus four yellow, and this is equal to nine. This one is, first there are six red plus three yellow, and this is equal to nine. Ah, the same as this one. Here there are two red plus one yellow, and this is equal to three. Here I've got three red plus two yellow, and this is equal to five. Hopefully you've done really, really well with those. I can't wait to see what you've done. So please don't forget to send it me so I can see all your super maths. Now, finally, I'm gonna leave you with a bit of a challenge, okay? So here I've got my number sentence and it says, First, there are two plus two more, and this is equal to four. I want you now to look at these two pictures and put a tick and think about which one of these is correct. So first, there are two plus two more. And this is equal to four. Which one is that? Okay, so let's check. Is it the first one? So we said first, there are two. Hmm, and then two more. So that one's not going to be correct, but first there are two red, then there are two more. The whole is four, or this is equal to four. So this one should be the correct one. Okay, and let's have a little look at this one. So first there are five red plus three more, and this is equal to eight. 
you should have got the top one for that. Well done, everybody. I'm sure you did some super maths there. That was a great session to introduce addition to us. See you tomorrow.